that answers that question. We can record, and I just started the recording. <laughs> packages that we'll have access to as members will allow us to record and say. Yeah, uh, all of the packages absolutely have recording. They come with one gigabyte uh, hosting, so you can simply record it, and then it automatically stores that file for you. You can download it as video. You can download it as audio. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty uh, advanced and powerful powerful uh, stuff there. <laughs> okay, thank you. Continue. And actually, I'm really glad you interrupted because I would have forgot to record the meeting if we didn't. So, basically, just a short recap. We've gone over the changes in the uh, uh, board, which is adding Carly uh, for the educational materials, adding Chris for video creation help, um, and we switched Jim to uh, quality control. We're looking for a professional traffic exchange uh, surfer uh, to be on our board also. We redesigned the uh, front page of our site and we worked out a partnership with a free conference call for small businesses, which is what we're hosting this uh, meeting on right now. We have just started now also talking about the Entrepreneur Power Hour, their web show, which does a bit of motivational talk, uh, also mixed with um, um, some business help. Uh, they, they, do, uh, they allow other people to come on their show and speak about their businesses. They do interviews with people, audio interviews. Like They have a pretty awesome show going on that we recommend everyone check out. Also, uh, Thanks, anyone Bruce. that's interested, uh, they do $10 radio interviews and $25 web panel discussions on whatever your business or business topic is. Uh, you can reach out to Chris at any point or Kareem. Uh, just hit them up on Skype or reach out to me, and I can put you in touch with them. And uh, you can get your own uh, radio interview on their site or your own uh, web panel discussion uh, set up, and they can... Uh, help promote your business for you. Very cool that they uh, offer that, and I strongly encourage everyone to do so. Uh, we also have a partnership. Uh, oh, and, and for the record, you'll notice in our, our meeting resources, we have a link to join the co-op to the uh, cooperative upgrades for those who are interested. Uh, and what we're talking about now is the Entrepreneur Power Hour. If uh, you guys click on that, you'll see there's a little uh, uh, a, a magnifying glass, but if you click on it, it'll open up their website, and you can uh, check out their show. You'll find links to uh, to their YouTube channel to see all of their uh, YouTube uh, uh, videos, which we again highly recommend uh, uh, subscribing to their YouTube channel. Um, it's definitely something that we're happy that we're sponsoring and a part of. We think they have a great thing going. And uh, we want to see it remain free, and the best way to do that is for them to get sponsorships and, and you know, to help people in business by offering these $10 and $25 uh, uh, services. So, again, we strongly encourage everyone to reach out about that. Um, we also have a deal with the Downliner. Uh, the Downliner is owned by our vice president, uh, Jay. He basically, uh, this is a, a co-op uh, ad exchange, so we put our links in and uh, other people. Uh, but basically, it, it's an exchange where the site gets showed on other sites and it displays our links for us. So this is specifically used to promote the co-op, our webinars, our news service, uh, those types of things. We don't specifically use it to promote for our members. They would have to join. Again, that link is here. Um, but we think that's a really good partnership to be involved with. We think it's awesome that they're able to uh, advertise us on 500-plus on websites at, at the click of a button for us. Uh, we're real grateful to be involved with that. Again, that, that's right on our meeting resources on our wall. And then finally, we have uh, our Exactly Hits partnership. Now, a lot of people don't know about Exactly Hits. This is a, uh, a crypto rewards network is what it's being built to be. And what that means is when people buy our upgrades, our services, they join the co-op through uh, the Exactly network, and they pay for uh, 
uh, our web hosting services or, you know, our intermediate beginner, whatever they buy through the Exactly Network, they end up earning uh, crypto coins as rewards for those purchases. Uh, so we're real happy, again, to be involved with uh, Exactly Hits. That link is also under the meeting resources. Uh, and those are all the partnerships. Those are also all listed on the uh, new Marketers Cooperative website under the partners. It says our amazing partnerships. We list all four of the uh, partnerships we currently have. Um, we recommend everyone check those out. Um, we have, let's see, what other orders of business do we have going? We have, uh, oh right, the beginner membership at the Marketers Cooperative is complete, it is ready, it absolutely works now. Um, we can promote this to absolutely anybody at all. The beginner membership unlocks the social features, and it makes it so that whenever anyone uploads content, when they share a video, when they make a blog post, when they, you know, upload a podcast on our social network, they get an advertisement for life all over the Internet. We have advertising inside, uh, inside let's see, right on the sidebar of exactly hits, we have ads running. We have them inside the downliner. We have them on our news site. We have them on uh, the Entrepreneur Power Hour site. We also publish them on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Google Plus over and over and over and over and over again all day, every day. Any content that's uploaded, that's all part of our uh, beginner membership, which is absolutely ready. Um, our intermediate uh, membership is still being worked on, but is also completely ready. The intermediate uh, membership uh, is our hosting membership, which uh, unlocks the, uh, they get web hosting. I believe we give them approximately 80 gigabytes of, of web hosting on a server with 15 other people. They get the webinar hosting that we just talked about provided through a, uh, the start meeting through our partnership with Free Conference Call. Um, and we help them with an autoresponder, which is currently open source, but we are looking to make deals with autoresponder companies like Constant Contact, Aweber. Like we've reached out to every single major company that there is, and uh, we're, we're trying to work something out similar to the way that we did with Free Conference Call in the way of autoresponders. In the meantime, we do provide uh, open source autoresponder that we will install and help uh, any user that uh, upgrades to the intermediate level. We'll help them install that autoresponder and we'll help them get that working. <coughs> um, the advanced membership is not yet ready. The advanced membership, what we have decided is that we are going in, in light of what we're doing, we're ultimately trying to make all of this so there's a cost-effective uh, solution for startups that comes with the marketing they need, the, uh, the hosting they need, you know, I mean, that comes with all the tools. So we think our advanced membership needs to be all about uh, tracking users. We think it needs to be about uh, tracking um, um, on social networks, tracking the people who like their, their stuff, people who comment on stuff so they know who to reach out to. Hey, if somebody liked your, your uh, business when you shared it, you want to reach out to that person and say, hey, how are you? How are you doing? So we want to make that easier to do. We want to make it uh, easier for them to track their links to get better information. Um, we want them to know who's tweeting, who's sharing, who's doing everything. We want them to actually have really high quality uh, uh, tracking, something that not one site really offers a complete solution for. Uh, I mean, there's Google, but what does Google tell you about who shares on Facebook? What does Google tell you about who retweets your stuff? Like, there's no one-size-fits-all solution, and that's what we're going to build our advanced membership to be. Um, but right now, the beginner and the intermediate are absolutely ready. Anyone can uh, join and upgrade. Uh, Kareem, go ahead, ask away. Okay, so my question would be uh, for the intermediate. Yeah. If you have current websites and web hosting, is it possible, or how would you do the migration? You know, if I was to pull. Assuming that they're using cPanel, the migration is done through uh, our WHM panel. When we set it up, we would contact them. Uh, but obviously, they have to have their own domain. That's one of the requirements of our web hosting is they have their own domain, which is pretty much standard these days for quality web hosting. 
So when we contact them and get their domain, we find out if they have hosting already. Um, if they do, as long as they have a cPanel, uh, we can migrate their entire site, their databases, pretty much everything. The only thing that changes is uh, um, their their login information, which we would give them by email. I see. Yeah, the only the only concern I had was because I wanted to ask about that is DreamHost does not have a C panel. It, there is a way to FTP files in, but it doesn't There's, actually have a C. It panel. depends on what DreamHost will allow you to do to get your files. Quite honestly, I mean, we have a number of ways. We have really high professional server people that uh, can migrate sites in okay. any number of ways. If they offer you SSH access at all. We can go through and do it that way. We could do it through an FTP migration. FTP is a little tougher because you have to do your FTP separate from your SQL uh, migration, but ultimately we can handle all of that. Okay, thanks. That would be done on, on, on the server people's end. Not, like, we don't even have to worry about that. I would just tell them that we need a site migrated and it would be done. Okay. Yeah, that's, my, that's all I need. Thanks. Sure. Um, so the, the advanced membership is not quite ready, but anyone that's interested, anyone that wants to see, you know, the Marketers Cooperative uh, uh, take off, they want to help us out, we absolutely will sell them the advanced membership, and when it's ready, they have complete unlimited access. That's assuming, of course, that they are interested in um, lifetime uh, uh, memberships. The monthly, we will not offer them. If somebody were to purchase the monthly advanced, I would simply refund it instantly because it's not ready and they're not paying for anything. So at this point, for the monthly, it's beginner and uh, intermediate that is ready. Um, also, I think it's important for the board members to know we need approximately to break even before we start hitting profits. We need approximately 25 uh, beginner members paying monthly or we need approximately 10 intermediate members paying monthly. That shouldn't really be a huge problem. The service we offer is unlike anything else that exists. Um, now along that lines, we are also ready for uh, the greeting and the uh, blogging uh, committees to be created. We've been talking with Tor about those. Uh, he would like us to attempt to find uh, a list of people if we could come up with in the next week or two. Uh, we want all the board members to help with this. Uh, basically, we just want a list of people that that might be interested in, say, in being on the greeting committee or the blogging committee. The greeting committee should be really simple. It's, they're going to have a little uh, a page that they access. It's already created where basically they just send out a message and say, hi, welcome to Marketers Cooperative. They act as like the person's uh, uh, introduction uh, uh, I don't know how to word it. They basically are just the, the person that greets them, welcomes them to the site, uh, puts them in contact with anyone if they have any, you know, if they have questions like, oh, I don't know how to do this, that, or the other. They put them in contact with somebody who can help them, that type of stuff. We, we're just making up a couple of committees because obviously, as we've said before, we think that will help us uh, progress as a co-op. Uh, we think that will bring a level of social interaction that very, very, very few social networks have ever even attempted to do. Um, we just think all around it's good for cooperatives to to cooperate, and therefore, you know, it's just great to have co uh, committees like that. Um, the only other thing I think we really need to mention today is uh, – we have a web panel discussion coming up in uh, August that is being put off by uh, the uh, Entrepreneur Power Hour. Um, we have a subscribe or a registration link to that. We're asking everyone to uh, register as early as possible. That's listed under our meeting resources also. Um, basically, at that meeting, we're going to discuss with everyone everything about cooperatives that we basically know. We're going to explain to them what cooperatives are, how they're member-owned, what that means, uh, the, the various types of co-ops. We're actually considered a hybrid cooperative. We'll explain what that means. We'll explain about cooperative marketing and advertising. Um, 
We'll explain about cooperatives that have nothing to do with marketing and advertising. We'll exp basically, we just want to inform and, and give people knowledge about co-ops because we think it's something that really needs to be utilized more in the world, especially in uh, startup and entrepreneurial world uh, because it's, they're just uh, – Overall, they're just not there. There's not a whole lot of uh, cooperatives that are going to help you when it comes to starting up your own business. And the ones that do exist want a couple of thousand dollars membership. And it's just we want something more realistic, more geared toward, toward Internet startups uh, and that type of thing. And we think that all of these things are, are what it takes. So we want to educate people. So uh, if anyone else has questions, if anybody, you know, wants to make any comments or anything, by all means, uh, feel free to chat and say what you got to say. Uh, I think that we've addressed everything that we had on the agenda for the day. But if anyone needs more uh, uh, things addressed, questions asked, what have you, by all means. Um, it's all on the, the web panel discussion Amy asked, which is uh, it's all under the meeting resources. It's going to be uh, August 9th, I believe, is the date. Yes, Bruce, it's August the 9th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. All right, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, which is 5.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 4.30 Pacific. Pacific, 6.30 Central. And I don't know uh, of the GMT time zone, so I really can't tell you what time it is in GMT, but apparently I need to learn that so as not to offend Jay. <laughs> 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 yeah. Jay's here, by the way. Yeah, I saw he popped in. Yeah. <laughs> and oh. he knows what that's all about. Cool. So, any, uh, oh, um, there's a couple other things I needed to say. There's a couple of people that are confused and I need to set some uh, records straight. There's a big difference between uh, people we've invited to potentially be on our committees from potentially being on our board. Being on our board is something that, like, we really need to know you. We need to know what type of marketer you are, what type of ethics you have, and it's not something that we offer to a lot of people. If anyone was ever led to believe they would be on our board, uh, that wasn't necessarily my intent, and I'm, I would apologize for that, but I have reached out to a few people to be a part of committees that got confused about that. Um, we do still want people to be a part of our committees. We definitely uh, uh, want to the few of you that are here that I've talked to about the blogging committee and the uh, uh, greeting committee, we're going to put you in touch with board. And uh, ultimately the decision of who's on what's committees is up to Tor. That's, that's his board position. And, and uh, if he says you can be on that board, then you can. And if he says you can't, like, there's nothing we as a board, we're not going to come together as a board to challenge Tor on that. That is specifically what he is there for. We believe he'll have the best interest in the cooperative when he's creating these committees. And, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to address that because I don't want anyone confused about uh, uh, what their position is or what's going to be expected of them. Committees are very separate from board members. There's a different pay structure for them, everything. Uh, this has been discussed in other videos. You're free to check them out. They're on the uh, Marketers Cooperative page. Uh, you can go to uh, videos and... Hey, Bruce. Yep. Would it be possible... I know I'm connected with you, Amy, and Carly, but to get connected with, like, some of the other people, like Jim and Tor, because I, I don't know... Uh, I don't know that I'd like to get connected on Skype if possible. Yes, me too. Absolutely. Anyone that is in the Marketers Cooperative uh, uh, Skype room, you're free to we reach out to. You're free to add them to your Skype list. You're free to say hello. They're all very welcoming people. If they weren't, they wouldn't be in the room with us. So, yeah, by all means, and I'm sure Jim can speak for himself, he would certainly welcome you to uh, reach out. Oh, absolutely. You know, I was really impressed with the, uh, the first uh, session with you guys on the called the Hour of Power. Entrepreneur Power Hour. There you go. Hour. I was very impressed with uh, with what you're doing, how you're handling it, the value that that is there for people who want to attend and participate. Uh, I, actually, I have it in my notes to connect with you guys because you talked about balance and alignment, which yep. from a social and wellness standpoint is something that I'm involved in. 
So Very I think cool. there's a lot, of, a, a lot of collaboration and synergy, uh, you know, synergistic opportunity. So looking forward to connecting for sure. Wow. Yeah, yeah, this week uh, is going to be a good topic. We're talking about we're talking about something Bruce is aiming for with his cooperative. We're going to be talking about the importance and value of teamwork and what happens when one of the members of the team decides to flake on the others. Well, it's the rest of the team has to carry the burden, whether that be financially, uh, skill-wise, content-wise, all that stuff. So. What we're really going to be hammering home some serious uh, points about teamwork and how, how it is very important to maintain your in integrity as a marketer on the Internet. It's interesting that you say that because I was always taught that in working in a team environment, each individual is responsible for 100% of the result. Nope, not when you're in a team. Well, think about it. Think about it. It, 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 stops, this, it stops the pointing fingers and it says, Somebody may flake out, but hey, we got to pick up the slack. That's right. We're all responsible for right. 100% of the result. Take responsibility. That's right. That's what I'm trying to say. And that's what we're hammering home this week. Anyway, sorry, Bruce. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I don't have a problem with you mentioning that. Um, okay. I I also want to mention, um, whereas Chris is on the board and Chris and Kareem both do help us create uh, videos. Those are specific, that, that help is specifically for the marketers cooperative itself. If uh, anyone needs video creation help, you're free to reach out to uh, both Kareem or Chris. Yep. Um, I believe they can help you for around 50 to $100 per two to five minute video. Um, you're, by all means, reach out to them. They're very, very, very talented with video. Like, I mean, they're just absolutely amazing and I love their work. So Thank yeah, you. anyone is free to reach out to them about that also. They can help you guys make custom promotional videos, whatever you guys need. I mean, these guys are definitely, they're good at what they do. Thanks. All right, awesome. so I think that covers everything. Um, does anyone else have anything they need to address? Any questions about anything, anything like that? If not, I'm going to go ahead and end this recording, and uh, we will meet uh, the next third Saturday of the month. It's marked on the calendar on the uh, on the cooperative wall page that you guys saw right here. This is always available. You can always come here. The meeting resources may change based on the meeting that's happening at any given time, but the calendar of events is always there to tell you what's going to be happening and, and what events are coming up. So if anyone, you know, in the future has questions about when the board meeting is or they forget or anything like that, you can bookmark this page, and you can always come back to it, and uh, and you will you will definitely find out when our next meeting is. Three. All righty, guys, I'm I'm ending the recording.